Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video will be one of those videos where I pick a topic and I will talk about that for some time, ramble on about it. And today's topic will be the A Son of Ice and Fire set from the Foolish Society. I'm going to talk a bit about that. But let's go back seven years ago to 2016. I finished reading A Feast for Crows and I was thinking, should I continue reading A Dance with Dragons immediately? Or should I wait some time and read it when uh, <laughs> The Winds of Winter is a bit closer to release? So I don't have to wait so, um, so many years after having finished A Dance with Dragons until the next book. And then I would have forgotten everything. So that was my plan. I'm just going to read A Feast for Crows now. I'm not going to continue with A Dance with Dragons yet. But as time went on and I read the news about... The winds of winter getting pushed further into the future. I pretty much gave up on reading A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. I didn't say that, but um, I didn't. I didn't read A Dance with Dragons. So, but then, The Fool Society published A Game of Thrones some three or four years ago in that wonderful, beautiful set, and I thought, now is the perfect time to. St Start over from the beginning and read um, the full series from the beginning and with each new release from the full society I will read that book and when A Dance with Dragons has been published by them perhaps the winds, <laughs> the winds of winter will be very close to release because it's gonna take some years before the full society has published all of those books and so I bought the first one, A Game of Thrones, and I was very impressed with the produ production quality. It was a very great book, really. But the artwork by Jonathan Burton wasn't to my liking. I didn't think it fit the, um, the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, and um, I wasn't that happy with it. A bit too cartoony, in a way, if that makes sense. And, but I still bought, I gave the second book a chance as well, A Clash of Kings. But I still wasn't into the artwork and so I pretty much quit <laughs> A Song of Ice and Fire completely. And I just thought, no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna bother with this. If I want to read it, it's not gonna be these full society books, uh, I don't think. And so I sold those books and I pretty much forgot about uh, the series as a whole altogether. And especially when I read about the awful um, the, the TV series that ended in an awful way. A lot of negativity around that and I was pretty much done. I also read all the spoilers from that series. I didn't watch it. I only watched the first season, I think. Uh, but I never continued with it. And then, yeah, you know, and when the news came that uh, George R. R. Martin was pushing forward the release of The Winds of Winter even more, I realized that that book is never coming out. Uh, and to this day, I've, I still think that it's never going to come out. And I understand it's a huge, complex world with so many characters and plot lines that it's very hard to keep track. As a reader, I can't even imagine as a writer. Uh, you would need a whole team to keep things straight. And he's getting pretty old. I, I understand if he doesn't want to spend his last <laughs> years uh, um, writing just to please his fans. I understand that. But he should come out and be a bit more honest about this and not, and not uh, keeping us waiting this long. But as of now, I have still haven't read A Dance with Dragons. But I wanted to talk a bit about the Foolish Society set of A Song of Ice and Fire. Because it's... Um, they have produced all five books now and the production quality looks stunning throughout. I never bought any more of the books apart from the first two, so I can't uh, comment on the rest. But uh, I have been f really had the urge to re return to uh, the world of A Song of Ice and Fire. So I've been thinking, didn't I give... Uh, Perhaps I didn't give it a chance, Jonathan Burton's illustrations and this whole set. It would have been so nice to own the complete, complete set. Then I would be, well, I would have all of the books and I could read it at uh, whatever pace I wanted. 
Um, and if the Winds of Winter came out eventually, then that would be great. But um, here's the deal. Is it worth getting a set like that? It's very expensive, of course. And it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's very, a lot of money to get the full set. Let's say that. Especially when it's a set that it's not complete and I don't think ever will be completed. Is it worth getting it? <sighs> I really don't know. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to make this video to talk and ask you if is it worth getting the set? I know that a lot of literature is about the journey, not about the destination. And I guess you can say that about this series as well because it's not, never going to get finished. So it's definitely about the journey. Um, but also I've been thinking that even if the Winds of Winter would come out someday, will Foley Society still have the rights to publish that book? There's a lot of questions that I don't know, uh, that I can't answer. So is it worth owning this fabulous set from the Foley Society, knowing it will never get completed? If you are a true fan of the series, then sure, I think I think it's worth it. But the thing is, Jonathan Burton's illustrations, I, I don't know if they improve in the third, fourth and fifth uh, volume or books of this series. So, yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> that's the conclusion in this video. I, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, if you are like a real big fan, of course. It's gonna be. I think it's the best, uh, the best set of uh, Song of Ice and Fi Fire out there. If you want to get a deluxe edition, you can't beat the Foolish Society ones. That's for sure. But I don't know if I will. I, if I will, I, I, I'm really struggling with it because I want to read the books again so much. Um, but will it be that set, or will it be like on my? Uh, Kindle or <laughs> or yeah I don't know but what about you do you own the set do you think it's worth it even though the the complete books will never be, be released uh, please leave a comment and tell me what you think about this um, yeah I, I really don't know what I'm talking about right now I'm not very good at these face videos I I tend to pick a topic but then I just start talking I don't really have a good point to end and yeah i'm just gonna stop here that was it <laughs> thank you all so much for watching see you all next time